Well, hello folks, Kevin here again. So, I finally made it to the start of this Hirkon Polku or Hirkon Trail. And uh, yeah, I'm quite excited to see how it'll look. I hope there will be quite nice views of the Bosnian Sea, as the trail is basically skirts along the actual waterline or shore itself. Lucky for some, I guess. This weekend, it, people are celebrating Midsummer here in Finland. Um, it's an annual holiday. We had Friday off. So, uh, but of course, as soon as people get holidays, the weather turns cold. Uh, at least it didn't snow, I suppose, or something. Okay, so this is a map of where we're going to go today. We're starting here. We're going to work our way northwest along the coast following this green trail. Uh, it winds through forestry and on Bear Coast. And then there is a place where you can light a fire at the very tip of this Kyhkeranokka. Nokka is literally like a nose or a beak. It means like a, just a headland. And um, yeah, there's also a fire making place halfway along. There is a lean to and there is a dry toilet. The trail today is very short. It's only something like three and a half, maybe four kilometers from start to the finish. It's an out and back trail. So uh, the plan today is just to tootle peacefully and calmly to the, the end of the headland, set up my camp there. I'm camping in a hammock yet again. Uh, this time with underquilt, not with an, an actual mat and uh, chill out for the evening, eat some food, hopefully sleep well, and then come back along the same trail. So that's the plan. This is a sign that says Uimaranta. Basically it's a swimming beach. Uh, more often than that it's a place where it can be sandy, sometimes it's shingle or pebbly, but uh, yeah, it's basically a place where you can get to the shore and it's allowed, it's open to the public. The bit that's underneath with a very long word says Korian Ulkoilu Taminen Kieletty Koira is a dog, so basically you're not allowed to take your dog to the beach here. Along the shores of the Bothnian Sea, these grey-green, silver-green bushes are a common sight, in fact a typical sight. These are sea buckthorn bushes and later on in the summer and into the early autumn they will produce yellow-orange berries that are super high in vitamin C. I have seen a claim that one berry has as much vitamin C as 10 oranges, don't know if that's true. But either way, the uh, Berries are a very important source of vitamin C. The, uh, the landscape around here is amazing. It's very, very open here, and uh, the sea area is extremely rocky. I talked to a local man just just a while. I was sitting up my hammock, and he was saying that he got a new boat, and already uh, he managed to uh, bump the propeller on the on the seabed around here because there's so many rocks and it's so shallow. He said also something very interesting that the sea level can change within an hour by up to five to ten centimeters and that can be the difference of going safely over the bottom 
with your boat or cracking your propeller on the rock. Blue with shark. Isn't that brilliant? Somebody's put a really nice little aquarium together made from plastic sharks and fishing baits and made it look like an aquarium. That is fantastic. All packed up, ready to go, and uh, just do a last check. Okay, no trace, no rubbish. Thank you to Kyushkara Nokka on this Hieronpolku trail for hosting me for the night. Yeah, that was cool. Okay, time to go back to the, the real world, unfortunately. Oh well, let's go. <laughs> 